Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and over the last month or so, I've been testing, well, playing with these. The new Nreal Air AR glasses. Now, a big thank you to Nreal and also EE, who are their exclusive partner here in the UK, for teaming up with me on this video, although, as always, all opinions are my own. These really are something quite special, whether you're watching videos and movies, gaming, exercising, getting some work done with multiple mixed reality tabs open. These glasses basically give you a massive 130 inch screen from the equivalent of three meters away. And that's superimposed over the top of what you're actually seeing in the real world. So this is proper augmented reality or AR. Although you can also pop on these blackout shades or what they call light shields if you want to fully immerse yourself in a slightly more VR experience and block out the outside world. Now I have to tell you, filming AR glasses it's very tricky. My friend Ben Geskin actually gave me a few tips, and while you can make video recordings within the app that saves to your phone, actually capturing what it looks like in reality is tough, to say the least, but hopefully this will give you an idea. I should also say that what you're seeing here is being filmed through just one of the lenses and also at a slightly off angle. In reality, this is all nice and centralized for you, and there's a wider 46 degree field of view. So it really is like you're sitting close to a big cinema screen. And it's a 3840 by 1080 resolution, so full HD per eye, OLED screen. The glasses also have a 90 hertz refresh rate, which you won't be able to see in this video on YouTube, but everything is smoother in reality, and there's no ghosting or crosstalk that I can see. And actually, as an owner of an HTC Vive and an Oculus Quest 2, this has none of that grainy screen door effect that you might get with those VR headsets. There's also two tracking modes, one where the screen stays fixed within your 3D augmented world so you can look away from it and it disappears, or the other mode that follows your head movement and keeps the augmented reality front and center wherever you look. The Nreal Air is a lot more like a Microsoft HoloLens than an Oculus Quest or a Vive. So how does this all work? Well, you simply connect them up to your phone via the bundled USB-C cable and then download the Nebula app from Nreal. Now I'm using a OnePlus phone here and also I've been testing it on both Wi-Fi at home and also on EE's 5G network when I've been out and about. So all you do is fire up the app and then you can select between two modes, Aircasting and MR Space. Aircasting basically mirrors your phone's screen, whereas MR Space gives you a proper immersive mixed reality environment with a handy tutorial and a full web browser. For now, there only seems to be one dedicated unique app within the MR Space, which is a kind of cool point of view cycling workout app that I actually used while on the treadmill to walk along to, but I am excited to see what other kind of experiences will be coming. So right now, there isn't a whole lot to do within the MR space, so I spent most of my time aircasting. I mean, everything I want to watch and play or do is already on my phone. This just gives me a huge screen to enjoy it on. And so far, I've spent several hours watching YouTube and Netflix with these on, but also, as well as your normal apps and games, I've been having a play with Xbox Game Pass and GeForce Now, so I've been streaming some proper full-fat games over Wi-Fi or 5G, and with my Xbox controller hooked up over Bluetooth. Now, for me, these Nreal Airs were most comfortable when I was sat or lying down using it, as opposed to, say, on a bumpy train or a plane, although you can experiment with the two different tracking modes, and also with and without the light shield to see what works best for you. The screen does get impressively bright, though. You can adjust it with the rocker button on the right arm of the glasses, and for the best visual experience, then you will want to put the light shield on, but I was surprised how bright this could get. They're also a good deal less chunky than most rival AR glasses, and they're pretty lightweight at just 79 grams. But they still might turn a head or two if you walk down the street wearing these. There is a slightly cyberpunky aesthetic to them, although my wife Sarah did actually tell me they looked a little bit like women's sunglasses. But hey, let's call them unisex.
And we also get two open ear speakers built into the arms. Although for me, a good pair of noise canceling earphones goes a long way to make you feel like you're properly in the matrix. The arms of the glasses, arms, legs, whatever you call these things, have three adjustable heights. Plus there's also three nose pads to choose from, all different sizes. Although I actually stuck with the default one and just widened it a little bit. And there's also a prescription lens frame bundled so you don't need to wear your glasses underneath. The USB-C tether to your phone can get a little bit fiddly sometimes, although I find it best to throw it over my shoulder. And also bear in mind if you're air casting, since it is mirroring your phone, the screen needs to stay on. So this will drain your battery life a bit more and you have to be careful not to accidentally turn it off. I tell you what, I've been having a lot of fun with these things and everyone who's tried them is pretty blown away by the experience. I would like to see more dedicated mixed reality apps within the MR space, but if you want a bloody great big cinema screen in front of your face wherever you are, whether you're walking down the street, although do be careful if you're doing that, or at home and you perhaps haven't got a big TV, or your missus is using the TV, or you're traveling and you're in a hotel room, even as I'm filming this, I'm thinking of other ways that I could use these glasses, like with Google Maps, so you have this sort of heads up display directions. If you're cooking and you want to follow along with a recipe like a YouTube video, or maybe even connect a Bluetooth keyboard to your phone and then you could write notes onto a Google Doc that sits in front or perhaps to the side of the lecture or the presentation you're watching. Whatever you fancy, and whether you are gaming or checking emails or watching some TV, well, these are definitely worth having a look at. If you are interested, in the UK they are exclusively available from EE and they will cost you £399.99 outright or you can pay monthly and spread the cost out. But what do you reckon? How would you use a pair of these in real airs if you had them right now? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video then a cheeky little like and subscribe would be very much appreciated and I'll catch you next time right here on the Tech Chat.